Let's talk about RoboCode. RoboCode is a, some software that's been developed to help students learn or uh, better yet kind of solidify their learning of Java to be able to implement it in a way that's fun and, and uh, exciting. And so if you go to uh, robocode.sourceforge.net there's the link to uh, RoboCode and it gives you the opportunity to download RoboCode um, download and install this uh, jar file that will set it up on your computer and what RoboCode is, let me maybe start by showing that we can go in and we can, uh, it's got some sample robots on the install so I'll go put a few in, there's corners and crazy and fire and ram fire so I'll put a few of these bots in the the ring and we'll start this battle and we'll watch them kinda go at it and so all, each bot has behavior that's been programmed into it by um, the designer and so these are sample bots that have been created to kinda show but you can see that corners much like his name he sits in the corner and and shoots right and crazy is has no distinct pattern to it whatsoever it just keeps driving around and and uh, is not really even firing right now well all of this is behavior that was programmed into the robot so when crazy is firing now there's a reason why there's some condition that's been met that that allows them to fire and so anyway somebody's gonna win here eventually maybe now crazy just did kind of a interesting thing there where it moved out of its crazy pattern and and went straight at corners firing a lot and we can go look at the code and see exactly why that is okay so crazy won that battle and then it goes through a number of rounds and so if we speed this up I'll just speed it up so it'll run through the process because I want to show you what happens in the end it declares a winner and the winner is based on points and the points come from uh, this calculation it uh, crazy got 1150 survival points and then there's a survival bonus uh, 807 points in bullet damage plus a bullet bonus and we'll talk about what that means zero in ram damage and ram bonus now notice by the way there was I put ram fire was one of the bots I put in right down here ram fire did a fair amount of damage 325 uh, in damage plus 106 in bonus but it didn't work out that well. There were zero first, zero seconds, and zero thirds, or five thirds. So, so third, third most of the time. And so this is what we're going for in the end, the, the highest number of points based on how you do in these, uh, these battles. So what do the points mean? Let's go back to the SourceForge website and kind of look at the, at the robots and how it all works. And so... Um, Let's go into this tutorial here and learn about these robots and how they work. And so we'll, we'll see in a minute that we set up our robot in the editor um, and we'll take a look at that. But there's some code um, that makes this particular robot do what it's going to do. Um, let's take a look down here. Uh, let's take a look at the anatomy of the robot. The robot has three different parts. It has a body, and it has a gun, and it has a radar. The radar is what spots other bots and um, allows you to react based on based on seeing the bot. The gun obviously is what's going to fire, and that needs to be the bullet's going to fire in whatever direction the gun's pointing. If you don't turn them separately, the gun and the radar turn as one unit. They're not two independent things, but you can turn them independently. And so I could have flip the radar so it's facing down and then uh, the gun's facing up and, and then go that way. And then the body moves separately from that. So I could put the body at a 45 degree angle and have it driving that way while the gun's pointing uh, up and the radar's pointing down. So those three things move independently. Um, but a lot of times we'll have the gun and the radar pointing in the same direction. It just depends on how you want to do it. So that's what the robot look, looks like. So let's look at the physics in this RoboCode game. 
Um, it talks about the, the battlefield using this uh, Cartesian coordinate system and um, the um, it, when we look at the battlefield, there's a battlefield height and a battlefield width, and we can modify that to be the size that we want to. But 0 degrees is up, 90 degrees is right, 180 degrees is down, 270 is left, and so that's what everything is based off of. Um, the, the measurement of time in RoboCode is ticks. Each robot gets one turn per tick, and so um, certain moves take a certain number of ticks, and and uh, but it's all um, passed around. It's all shared. The time's shared, right, between every robot. And so this gets into kind of more advanced. I mean, we can do more stuff with the ticks and what move uses what ticks and all that kind of stuff. But basically, the idea is is that. Um, you know, if we move and then we turn and we uh, scan, then each of those things are going to take ticks, and so we have to kind of be aware of that. Uh, the distance measurement is basically measured in pixels with two exceptions. First, all distances are measured with a double position, so you can actually move a fraction of a pixel if you want to. Second, RoboCode automatically scales down battles to fit in the screen, and that might make the uh, distance smaller than a pixel. Uh, the robots accelerate at a rate of one pixel per turn per turn, and robots decelerate at the rate of two pixels per turn per turn. Uh, Robocode determines the acceleration view based on the distance you are trying to move. Um, and so when we get into, you know, as we, if we got really serious about this, then these things start to come into play. How fast can I accelerate and all that? Um, velocity. Velocity can never exceed eight pixels per turn. Uh, note that technically velocity is a vector, but in Robocode we simply assume the direction of the vector to be the robot's heading. Um, and then the distance equation, distance is equal to velocity times time. Um, and so, you know, just things about the speed of and movement of the robot. Um, the max rotation of the robot uh, is this formula and basically what's saying is the faster you're moving the slower you're going to turn the max rotation rate of the gun 20 degrees per turn this is added to the current rate of the rotation of the robot so if you're turning already the gun can turn faster the max rate of the rotation of the radar is 45 degrees per turn um, this is added to the current rate of the rotation of the gun so anyway all of these things to kind of keep in mind damage the damage we uh, dish out is four times the firepower. And so if the firepower is one, then the damage is going to be four, right? But if the firepower is a two, then you're going to get do a damage of eight. Um, and so the, the higher the, the bullet, the, the higher the damage. But the higher the bullet, the, the higher the energy you just expended. You lose that four when you shoot with a power of four. Also, notice the velocity. 20 minus 3 times the firepower, which means that if I'm firing with the firepower of 1, the velocity will be 20 minus 3 times uh, 1, so 17. But if I fire with a power of 2, then the velocity will be 20 minus 3 times 2, is uh, 6, so 14. So in other words, the higher the power of the bullet, the slower the bullet goes. Uh, gun heat generated. 1 plus the firepower divided by 5. You cannot fire if the gun heat is greater than 0, and so you can only fire so many bullets is what that's saying. It's limited based on because you're generating gun heat and you gotta wait for it to cool before you can fire again. Uh, all guns are hot at the start of each round. And then power returned on the hit. So when you hit somebody with a bullet, we generate three times the firepower in energy we get back. And so we fire with a power of three, then we get nine back when we hit. And the damage that it did was four times three, so 12. Um, 
and so we only expended three. We got back nine, and so the the obvious kind of conclusion here is the more you hit other robots, the more power you get back the longer you stay in the game. Okay, so when you collide with another robot, each robot takes 0.6 damage. If a robot is moving away from the collision, it will not be stopped. And then if you do collide with the wall, this is only the case for advanced robots, which we're not going to deal in uh, right now, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so now let's look at the scoring in the RoboCode game. The total score is just everything else added up. Survival score. Each robot that's still alive scores 50 points and every time another robot dies. And so if, the longer you can stay in the game, the more survival score you get. You get a bonus if the, uh, the last robot alive scores 10 additional points for each robot that died before. So if there are five robots that died, you get an additional 50 points of uh, uh, survivor bonus. Bullet damage. Robots score one point for every point of damage they do to their enemies. So that's obvious. Every All the damage we do we get points for. And then when the robot kills an enemy, so if, you're, if your bullet's the bullet to kill the enemy, you score an additional 20% of all the damage that you do to that enemy. So that's the ram or bullet damage bonus. Ram damage. Robots score two points for each point of damage they do by caused by uh, ramming enemies. So we get more points for ramming. Even though in a ram, both robots take the same amount of damage, if you were doing the ramming, you get two points back. So it was a 0.6 damage you incurred, but you got two points back in the score. And then ram damage bonus, when the robot kills an enemy by ramming, it scores an additional 30% of all the damage it did to that enemy. And so if you were, let's say you just shot the robot over and over again until it was very weak, had very little energy left, and then you went and rammed it, you would get 30% of all damage, not just ramming, that you did to that robot. So it might be smarter to kill with a ram than with a bullet if you're making that decision. And then the first, seconds, and thirds. These do not actually contribute to the score, but they show how long the robot survived, etc. And the number of rounds uh, uh, the robot was placed uh, first, second, and third. And so winning, being the last one on there, isn't necessarily the goal, although that can help. Um, the, the goal is to score the most points. And so you can look at how this scoring system works and decide this is my strategy for scoring the most amount of points and then implement that system using Java code and that's what we're going to do next so that's how the scoring works and that's how the winner is declared is we total up all these points get a total score and first place is uh, the the one with the most points in the end alright so what we'll do next is uh, go in and actually build a robot and kind of look and see how this all works but that's how the that's how the game works you can you can watch it work when we run our uh, I'll restart that whoa <laughs> I'll restart it in a way you'll actually be able to see it take the speed back down and then restart and you can watch this work you can see kind of what size the bullets are uh, the bigger the bullet the the more the power and the bigger the damage it's doing and then when it you can see when the bullet actually lands like that was a really big bullet right there that fire fired um, but now they're smaller bullets and, and they're probably doing that because they're further away and uh, the bullet flies faster more likely to hit if it's flying faster right um, and so we'll go in next and kind of see uh, we'll build our own bot and, and uh, see how it works and uh, have some fun with it hopefully so on to the next video Spencer out